beekeeping uh, I've been doing for uh, 20 years. Here we are in the forest and uh, the only flowers we can find are the flowers of the trees. And the trees, they stop blooming in July. So it's difficult for the bees to store a lot of honey for six months. They are sleeping. I'm just testing the weight of the hives uh, to know if they have the food enough to spend a good winter. I know that uh, 100 years ago uh, this area was a very good place for honey harvest. The landscape was different. It was only uh, moorlands with heather and now we are in the forest. We have no more crops, no more peasants. Flowers collecting is very poor. So it's more difficult now to uh, collect uh, honey. Celle-là, ça va être tranquille, elle a rien fait. Rien du tout. Mais la ruche est quasiment vide, donc... Euh... Vide de chez vide. Extraordinaire, hein Rien de rien. Il y a des abeilles, il y a trois gouttes de miel. Là-dedans, il n'y a rien à extraire. Donc, quasiment rien. In 20 years, we have seen a climate change and I don't know what will happen. For the forest, for the trees, for the crops, what kind of summer will we have? What kind of winters? The bees are not used to a very hard weather. They are used to Atlantic climate. And now the climate is changing with strong winters, with very dry summers. I'm not sure they are well prepared to a strong winter. Les, les passer dans des ruches neuves pour l'hivernage. Et puis bah, je vais leur semer de la moutarde là pour qu'elles fassent des provisions de fin de, de, fin de séjour. Quoi. Petite provision d'automne, là on est quoi, 4 septembre, c'est encore euh, deux mois à, à grignoter, à ramasser des trucs. À peu près ça. Quoi. Et voilà, pour aujourd'hui. Mmh. Mmh.